Hello and welcome to NIJ Weekly. This is Avantika Kansal and I'm here to bring you what is trending this week. The highlights from the week that was on 5th of June 2023. The Ministry for Commerce and Industry has recently mentioned that officials from the Directorate General of Foreign Trade will be shifted to Invest India. This move aims to establish trade and investment desks in every state across the country. These desks will play a crucial role in promoting investment and exports and they will operate in an online environment eliminating the need for physical visits to offices. Invest India which has been assisting foreign investor will extend its support to domestic investors. Invest India will encourage more investment and foster partnerships between industries. UPI transaction hit an all-time high in May 2023 with a total transaction value of rupees 14.3 trillion and a volume of 9.41 billion. This represents a 2% increase in value and 6% increase in the volume compared to the previous month of April. Transaction volume has witnessed a huge 58% increase compared to the same period in the previous financial year, while the transaction value rose by an impressive 37%. These numbers highlight the growing acceptance and adoption of UPI as a preferred mode of payment in India. In the recent Startup 20 Engagement Group meeting, a call of action for G20 nations to invest $1 trillion for the startup ecosystem by 2030 has been taken. The five actions that the participants mutually decided upon are to create and adopt definition framework for startups, to create a network institution to support startups and the startup ecosystem across G20 nations, to increase and diversify access to capital, to ease market access and to emphasize the inclusion of under represented communities and to create ability to scale startups of global interest. Recently, Home Minister Amit Shah inaugurated the Silver Jubilee celebrations of Kochi-based Amritha Hospital and also inaugurated two research centres under the institution. On this occasion, he spoke about the various initiatives taken by central government in the last nine years to transform healthcare in India with initiatives such as Swachh Bharat Abhiyan, Potion Mission, Mission Indra Dhanush, Ayushman Bharat and Jal Jeevan Mission. Apple is all set to launch three more offline exclusive stores in India after launching its first two retail stores in April 2023. The tech giant is currently in talks to open its third store in Mumbai and the fourth store likely to be located in New Delhi. A recent report claimed that Apple stores in Delhi and Mumbai are earning 22 to 25 crore each month. This basically means that the tech giant is making a total of 50 crore every month via its retail stores. That was the week that was. Thank you for watching. Tune in again next week. And if you like this video, do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe to New India Junction. This is Avantika Kansal signing off. Until next time.